Hi friends, how you all doing today? This is Femi Bewaye. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create pretty URL, or we'll call it sluggable URL. Have you ever wondered, maybe you see a website, a blog website, instead of them to be having ID of the blog post, maybe one, two, or three as a blog URL, the content URL, probably you see something like, um, what? What is he as the URL instead of one, which is probably that's the first content or two, a second content. So let's get into how to how to create such. Um, first thing we need to do is we'll quickly create a table. We'll call it a blog. I'll call it blog. We'll be first about this. So I'll say ID and I'll say title. I'll call this log. I'll call this content. Let me have one more. Let's say body. Let me have one more again for user. I'll say poster, which is user, and create that. So uh, create that. I'll quickly make use of this timestamp. Correct timestamp. Mm hmm. This should be text indefinite. Um, let's say this as well. This I'll make this title. I'll say 255. 255. 255. And I'll make this as a increment and primary. Yeah, I think we will go to create a table. And good, we'll have our table here. So I'll be making use of backend, which is where I'll be posting our content from. So I'll quickly create this. Um, I mean, I'll quickly add a link to our menu. Front end. Let's go to backend. Backend um, view. Um, layout. So I'll quickly add one more. So I'll call it um, blog. I'll call it blog. So good, we have it, but we don't have the um, we don't have it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I will duplicate this and I will make use of gear to generate um, the table for us, the 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 table model. I'll call it blog. Mm -hmm. This is back end. Some sometimes you might be seeing some like app models. Make sure be sure that you know either using basic or advanced. If you're using advanced, it's could either be back end or front end instead of just um the app. So I might leave it like this and generate. So I quickly could generate the code. And I'll say blog. I'll say blog. And I will generate this search. Generated. So let's go back to our back end and select this. Good. This simple means you now have a blog. But let's quickly fit out this by removing this and we'll make sure that this also is removed so it will be generated automatically into the database. So let's go to back end. I'll go to our view, which is a blog. Our form, these two are going off. And for our controller blog. While we are creating, we'll make sure that um, I need to remove this from here and put it out. Good. So we'll say our poster should be, let's say, the current URL. Um,
the current email reader. So um good. Let me just before we start working on, let me just quickly add and see how it works. Mm, I'm gonna remove this slug as well. Remember, I really want to have um I don't want to have tattoo and body. So I'll say title is what is what is G. I'll say the body will be G. So let me copy this just in case you want to make use of it again. So I'll quickly create say missing parameter ID. That is because our record is not saved. So let me create this. It is not saved for some reasons. So in this case now, I'll just disable my validation. I'll save first. And I'll create again. Good, our record is created. Slug is empty. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure that um, Slug is automatically generated for us out of our title as well. So what we need to do is let's go back to our code. And we'll go to our model. So this is where we need to do, so we say, We need to make sure that we ensure unique means we need to make sure that we do not have the same um let's say i keep asking two people ask question of what's g i mean it should generate different um you have a pretty url for it so now before we continue we need to add a class we call it sluggable good so we'll quickly make use of this over here Good. So our attribute is going to be tied to, remember, what we want to generate a unique um, attribute for is our tied to, which is this. We want this to be used, not the body, not it's another thing. Now we need to make sure, ensure unique, ensure unique URL. So we say true. If this is disabled, um, that means if two people ask a question of what is here, it's going to generate the same URL for them. So I think we're good to go. So let's go back to our browser and quickly create another question. I will say what 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 is e two? I'll say e two is a framework. I'll create. It's still not generated. I think that is because we uh, skipped the validation. So I will go back again. Let me delete this record and let me copy this and delete this record. So what is G2? I'll paste this. Good, you see it is generated for us. So as well, if we want to say, let me look for a more, more of like a lengthy, um, Topic. I'll say how I'll copy this for it as well. So, and um, let's assume I want to create the same topic again, but maybe by different user. Let me remove this. I think it's causing issue. 
Let me refresh. Um, uh, note, it automatically concatenated a number to it. This simply means this one is different from the first one. 